In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll go ahead and take a look at setting up Remote Web Access. Remote Web Access is a web-based portal that your users can connect to over the internet to access the SBS server. This can be done virtually any time, any place they have an internet connection, whether that's at home, at a client site, or on the road. So here in the Getting Started tasks, there's a link for setting up RWA. As with all SBS wizards, we have an introductory page which explains what the wizard is going to do. If your router supports universal plug and play, the wizard is able to communicate with it and make the necessary settings automatically. You can also choose to skip router setup and make the configurations manually. Let's go ahead and let the SBS wizard make the configuration changes that are necessary to the router. This takes just a few minutes depending on your router type. Once the router has been successfully configured, the next step is to set up a domain name. So let's go ahead and launch that wizard now. There are a couple of different options that we have as we run through this wizard. The first is to use a domain name that you already own. If you already have an internet presence for your business, you can go ahead and enter that name in and use that as the internet domain name for your server. You can also choose to set up a new domain name. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Again, we have a couple of different options. You can purchase a domain name specific to your company address, such as www.mycompany.com, or you can get a personalized domain name from Microsoft. So for very small businesses looking at the most cost-effective way to get connected to the internet, we can go ahead and use this personalized domain name. At this point, we simply need to sign in using a Windows Live account. This account is then going to be used to manage that domain name. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a username and password for a generic account that we'll use to go ahead and set up a demonstration name for our server. Now if you've already run through the wizard, you can see which domain names have been registered to that Windows Live account, or you can create a new domain name. I'm going to go ahead and select to use the domain name that I have already registered with this Windows Live ID. At this point, the wizard is going to go ahead and configure the SBS server to use that domain name and synchronize the information with the domain name service provider. Once that completes successfully, Remote Web Access is now configured for use on this SBS server. Thank you for joining me for this Learning Byte, and I hope to see you for future videos.